Well, as an orthopedic hand surgeon, I do see a lot of arthritis in our practice. Uh, many of our patients come in with complaints of arthritis, and many of the complaints of arthritis are pain, stiffness, weakness, um, failure to be able to grip and grasp things. Uh, so some of the limitations that patients have is they're not able to perform their normal activities of daily living. Simple things like brushing their hair, brushing their teeth, lifting up coins, opening a door or a jar is difficult for them. Um, so arthritis does uh, play a big part of our practice and as a hand surgeon you have to focus in and listen to people's complaints so that we can help them to improve their function. Well, many of the patients that we see with arthritis in the hand, the arthritis is either in the wrist, at the base of the thumb, or many of the small joints in the fingers. So if surgery is indicated, and not every patient who comes to see us requires surgery, there's many times that we can treat arthritis with um, easy things like medication or injections or a brace or even therapy. But when surgery is indicated, um, surgery is performed, for instance, at the base of the thumb, we can reconstruct the joint and uh, give someone a new basal joint to their thumb. Other times, surgery is required that stabilizes the joint and that would require a fusion where we make the bones grow together. Um, so there are lots of different options, but the main function of surgery in the hand is to reduce pain, improve function, and hopefully to improve their strength so that they can perform their activities of daily living. Hand and wrist surgery, uh, it's required not only to perform a good procedure and to have a good patient uh, to perform that surgery on, but after the surgery is completed, it's absolutely imperative uh, that many of our patients see a hand therapist. Uh, the hand therapist is a, a vital portion of the recovery. Uh, many times what I tell patients that we're able to perform the same surgery on uh, 10 patients in a row, but it's up to them to perform their own home therapy and to see a good hand therapist to get the best outcomes.